Hi Pisces, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your Valentine's reading for um, the 14th of February 2022 right round to 2023. It's an annual reading. I didn't like the one that I did last year. I will just add a quick look at it just before I started doing these. So I thought I might repeat it. Hell no. It was bloody awful. Um, so I've come up with this love heart. It is your heart completely your heart starting with your resistance and two clarifiers starting with your inner heart and two clarifiers you've got an energy card a blessing card and then we're going to ask the deck who is coming who or what is coming in towards you for this following year so we're going to start with your energy card and darlings you have got releasing allegiances I did say that right, didn't I? So I was looking at it thinking, what the hell? Um, and I was just hoping that I had pronounced that correctly. Let me put a pair of bins on so I can see the card. Um, I don't know what I've done in the glasses. Oh, never mind. I can see it. I know what this card is. Um... Darlings, you have got to, the reason they're saying release allegiances is because it, you're such a faithful person. You, you're, you're such sort of like, oh yeah, everything's fine. You know, everything's sort of like going around and you're kind of going around in circles trying to please everybody but not getting anywhere. And they're saying, just, just let those go. They're not, they're not serving you. The only allegiance that you should have is to yourself and possibly your divine, literally. Pisces, what's happening around you? I kind of get that you understand your worth, but when it comes to putting it in practice, you put other people before you. Don't do that. You are as important, if not more important, than anyone else around you. So, darlings, we're going to start with your resistance card, the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten is a completion, completion of family. Um, the family coming together for the benefit of the family. Um, and I'm kind of getting the resistance for you is that... You're not in the position at the moment for an older person to come in and need to be looked after. Or if you are looking after somebody, you're going to be fucking exhausted. Um, because I'm kind of getting that although the resources are around you, when it comes to hands on deck, it's a different matter. Um, you could be just feeling very overwhelmed and keeping a jolly face on things when it's not so fucking jolly. It's okay doing things for the family, but it means that you're not looking after your true essence, your true self. But know that the new beginning could see a move with your career, your finance or your home life. It could mean like the 10 is an actual completion. And what you're going to see is that you will... Just move nicely and slide into a new beginning um, around the family where um, the dynamics will shift and change again. But there is a resistance for you to get this 10. So that if this is your own little family that you either want to make or you have made, um, rather than your um, extended family... Um, there's a resistance to being part of it. There's a resistance to being part of it. So let's have a look at the clarifiers. Yeah. You've got the accolade card, the six of wands. Some of you've done friends, family, community um, has gone well. And you've come back to the accolade card. And it's giving you some much needed attention. And I'm kind of getting that that attention may have put a veil or clouded your view um, of the family. 
um and it doesn't have to be everybody in the family but i'm kind of getting that maybe what you thought was going to be a family you're now realizing um because of the attention that you're getting that you're not getting the attention in the family that you thought you might get um you know you very often hear uh, women say i wanted to have a baby because i wanted something to love me um perhaps that's not what the essence is that you got and that's why you're resisting this 10 um because you have felt something completely different and it's fucking woken you up and instead of going round and round in circles you're kind of peeping over the top going oh is there somewhere else for me to go is there somebody else for me to kind of follow to it there fucking is as well oh my lord really new beginning what was i saying about new beginning i was expecting to see the ace of pentacles there and what have you got the ace of wands passion desire really what was i talking about you have got attention like you've never had it before and it is putting your aspirations for this wonderful family life into shadow the skies are part in the sun is shining and it is shining towards that wand and those cherries are ripe and ready for picking they're your options they're your options some readers would even go as far to say as first penetration with the ace of wands just saying it's not what i would say i would say there is a new beginning around a passion and desire because you've been getting attention i'm kind of getting not only have you been getting attention but you've been giving it back and i can't see that it's anybody in particular at the moment but that that is now making more sense about releasing allegiances if this is now something that you don't want if this is now something that has become a burden to you this happy family this completion of family the family working for family you need to be talking about that you need to be verbalizing that pisces you just do so what's deep in your heart queen of a theme is male or female she is going to be aquarius gemini or libra she is highly intelligent highly intuitive she is the only queen with a weapon and she knows how the fuck to use it now she can be gentle and just prune things back nicely and nurture new growth to come in but she will be questioning and she will need answers and she will question and need answers several hundred times over everybody thinks that the air signs are procrastinators they're not they like good hard evidence they don't like he said she said they don't like playground bullshit they just like to get to, down to the bare facts and once they've got the bare facts if the thing is not serving them at all they will cut it away and Pisces, I'm kind of getting for you that this person, if this is a person around you, if this is a person that you are close to, they are, um, they're going to teach you how to decipher between a pruning back and a deep cut. Because once that cut has gone that deep, there's no getting it back. So right in behind your queen you've got the five of a thames now i'm getting this could be you you are allowing other people to manipulate you into making decisions that you don't particularly want to make it's not this queen it's not this queen it's somebody else it could be a family member But somebody is definitely trying to get you to make decisions that you've already tried to make for yourself but gone back on because maybe somebody shoved something else up your nose and you've gone oh yeah and that's giving them an in let me tell you that's that's who you need to be cutting out 
You need to be cutting that bollocks and bullshit out. It's no good to you. Do not be manipulated by somebody else. You've got a lot of power coming up here. Um, and if you think that you need to sweep those decks clean and cut things out, don't let anybody else tell you how to do that. Don't let them manipulate you in believing that they've got a better way around of doing it. They haven't. So your clarifier is communication. What was I saying that you need to start talking about this? You've got the eight of wands, darling. There's a lot of wands on this reading. This could actually be... A fire sign coming in, Aries, Leo or Sag. Communication. Check your communication. Check your social media. Texts, phone messages, letters, emails, inboxes, outboxes, junk boxes, spam boxes. Check them all for your communication because it is difficult communication and broken communication could let you down about what's in your heart and it could leave the door wide open for whoever's doing this manipulation around you um to get in there and say oh you shouldn't be this strong you shouldn't be using this intuition and this intelligence tell them to fuck off honestly um, and it may be deep in your heart that you're already there. That's why the queen is on top of it, because the queen, you're just using that energy um, and you are ready to go pop. And I'm getting that that person is not going. I'm getting that they're going to be knocked sideways by what you're going to say to them. And that's down to communication as well. And do you know how funny this has been out for all the water signs? The moon. There's a thing. Pisces. You got the moon. Um, darling, the moon works for you, works with you. It shines a light on a pathway forward. It illuminates for you a distortion or an illusion that you need to give some attention to. There may be a truth or an untruth that is going to change things for you. Um, whatever it is, whatever it means to you, just know that you need to let the moon do its work for you we've got a full moon coming up on the 16th so just know that the moon has got your back now in terms of someone else this is going to be another water sign and it could be a friend it could be a family member but they're going to can't be cancer scorpio or pisces just know that this um they have literally got your back it could be another piscean um i've just heard it's another pisces so it could be another piscean or somebody who's got pisces predominantly in their birth chart but no there's a lot of to in and fro in here you've had this attention you've got this new beginning you really don't know if this is what you want anymore you don't know but you are releasing allegiances you're you're in, in your head and your heart, you are releasing people. You are releasing them because I'm getting that you're ready to make that final cut. So before we go to the main deck again, let's get your blessing card. A blessing on a home. How beautiful is that? Um, whatever home means for you, it can be anything from a little van to a house. Um... It could even mean a tent, darlings. But just know that there is a blessing on a home. And what I'm get what I'm getting, you know when they say sort of like home is where the heart is, you know, a home isn't a home without family. I don't buy into that. I've got a lovely family, but I live alone out of choice because I just don't like people very much. And I like my peace around me. I like to have a snack when I want to. I don't like to have to answer to people. Um, and my home is really special to me. So when you're saying a blessing on the home, it's whatever the home means to you. And it could be that you had one idea of what a home should mean. And now you are completely rethinking about what a home would mean for you and what a blessing would mean for you it could also indicate 
that you could be moving. You could be moving. Let's see what the main deck has got to say. What is come? Who or what is coming in towards Pisces, please? Valentine 2022 to Valentine 2023. Oh, nice. What was I saying? I thought it might be a, um, a fire sign. I think it might be. Anything else for Pisces? No, just the one card, darlings. I am getting a strong essence that this could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is passionate. This is desirable. This is your celebration card. This is the... The working together, the bringing together a relationship that you are now going to seek to move on. So there's going to be celebrations around that, an engagement, a marriage, an anniversary. So just know, my darlings, if you are waiting for something to happen, please check your communications because, you know, I'm kind of getting that you've had one picture in your head. And that is just dissolving in front of your eyes. And you are feeling the passion and the desire that this fire sign is sending out to you. And it's making you quite emotional. It's kind of like, I didn't even know I could feel that deeply about somebody. But somebody's going to be a bit pissy about it. Because you're not going to be doing their bidding. Time to fuck off. Have a ball, my darlings. Check your communication. Have a wonderful time because I'm getting Pisces that you so fucking deserve this. You so deserve this new beginning and these people coming in around you. Now, let me tell you about the fire signs. If it's not a fire sign, you've got another sign coming in towards you. Recognise the signs that fire is predominant in their chart. They are going to be these get up and goers. They know what they want. They know how to get it. And they just go and fucking get it. Nothing holds them back. Nothing phases them. They work 100% and 100 miles an hour on passion and desire. They are very project, very planned people. Projects, plans and people. They love those three combinations. So just look out for those signs. Lovelies, wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.